And it's on. Okay, yeah. Bump it's fights. Got, well, yeah, the, the guy that directed or it directed something called Terrorists, Killers, and Middle East Wackos. And, you know, I fucking loved Bump Fights, so I put it on. And, it, yeah, it's full full on snuff, snuff movie, you know. T- suicide bombings and fucking <laughs> is it like, hostage uh, killings. Is it like gorilla shit, or is it just like a compilation of, like, shit? Compilation of shit, but it's edited to, like, MTV-style, like, pop-punk riffs and okay. shit. Yeah, that sounds horrible. It's, why, it's like, and dude, Bum Fights is edited like, like an episode of like Happy World Daddy. It's right, okay. It's not. It, it's like psycho. Some it, of the it's imagery, good. I've never watched any of the Bum Fights because, like, you know. Um, but okay, you know what it reminded there, me of? You, you watching these Bum Fights movies remind me of. Uh, I was in, in drama class, I think, in grade ten. Yeah, I was this guy. He's this like really goofy, like Will Ferrell hockey kid. You know, you know the type where they like. Oh yeah. Their well, humor is like, yeah, but their humor is like literally like like verbatim quoting Anchorman, you know? Oh, dude, quote movie, quote kids, like kind of they love yeah. fucking love Step Brothers. Yeah, Step Brothers rules though, man. It's, it does it's, rule. Yeah, it's, um, it stands the test. Of it's time. funny, dude. I found so like I'm in school as I was saying, and I had to write uh like a, re- a research paper on whatever I wanted, and I thought about writing about like uh, bromance and like. Like the, I thought it was funny, honestly. Like the lack of platonic yeah. male friendships in Hollywood film, like, yeah. like, like healthy platonic male. And I ended up stumbling upon this article, and uh, or not article, but like academic writing about the queering of Step Brothers. And it was honestly, it's honestly pretty good, but it's also like the queering of Step Brothers. But I was like, no, nah, I like, I didn't know what queering was until I went to school. But it's it's pretty self explanatory what queering means. Yeah, yeah. But it Make was like. I argue that Step Brothers is about fucking like um, it's like about like the the death of the modern family rather than it is about like that male relationships. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's less about male relationships and more about being fucking old and living at home and shit <laughs> with like with your, your like you know piece of shit dad and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. Wait. Wait. So bum fights. Yeah. So me and this guy. Uh, I'll just say his name. Adam Page, uh, yeah. who is like big goofy. And our teacher thought that me and him smoked pot together before every class. But this guy never smoked pot a day in his life. I smoked pot before class. Yeah. And uh, but he made me laugh because he. I thought he was really funny at the time. Uh, I probably still would honestly. Like. Um. But we grouped together for our video project, and he had this idea of doing bum hunters, which was like the crocodile hunter, but you're, they're hunting yeah. those people. Yeah. That's a clip. That's in bum fights. Bum hunting. Yeah. I, I assume he got it from there. Cause I, I hadn't seen it at the 100%. time. Oh yeah. That, well, that's a full on the, the, the dude in bum fights dresses up as Steve Irwin. Yeah. And, and it's oh, like, so he just ripped it off completely. Oh well, yeah. Well, was he trying to write saying that it was like a r- original idea or was he saying, Oh, I saw this in bum fights. It was so fucking cool. <laughs> No, he was, it was maybe in the middle. Like, I, yeah. I'm not, gonna, I'm not, this guy wasn't like an egomaniac by any stretch of the imagination, but okay, yeah. it's one of those things where I think he felt like maybe if I could get away with this, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like, like a lot of great uh, artists, Adam Page was like, dude, shit was hilarious, man. Uh, and like, we realized that like, like we had a couple, like one of the people in our groups, dads was like, this is like offensive, <laughs> So we yeah. put it in us being like, hey, sorry, but here it is. You know what I mean? Wait, uh, you did it? We did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where it is, but I could probably find you it. You bomb hunted? Yeah, we, we no, we had our friends pretend to be homeless people. Oh, okay, okay. We had one guy, one guy, he was this, this kid, Justice. He's, he's a metal drummer now yeah. uh, in our group. And he literally uh, jumped into a dumpster and ate pizza out of a dumpster for the video. Hell yeah. Yeah, he was fucking punk rock. He's like a firefighter now, that guy too, which is honestly like fucking first responders, man. Like, yeah, yeah. he went down. Yeah, <laughs> he went down the right path. He did. He went down the right path. Yeah. Well, I'm fucking Look at us right now. Quarantined <laughs> with the simp. Yeah, but dude, yeah, the bomb hunter shit is next. It's next level, you know. It's yeah, but the point, uh, yeah, the point of the bomb hunter in bomb fights is to be like, like. Oh yeah, we can do this to these people because no one gives a shit about bums. 
the, that's the ethical like point of it. But yeah, by, like, but, but like by doing that, they are yeah. actually exploiting, oh. right? Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Like they're is, exploiting is that what them they, on. Purpose. Is that what they always said? Or is that what they argued in court? No, that like, I mean, b- the the before the video like warning says like that it's uh it's, it's meant to be like, in like raise awareness, raise awareness u- using satire. That's what it says. Like. On the video. Dude, that's fucking super ahead of its time. Yes. Big that's time. Like, yeah. Big MDE. Like. Oh, dude. Yeah. Dude, there's so much cool fucking shit in, in. Like, they they film a guy. Like, they're hanging out with a guy that fully just robs someone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he jumps out of the car, grabs a woman's purse off her shoulder, and then hops back in. They drive off. And it's like a full unedited clip. It's, it's a, like is it a it's a hobo that does this or a homeless person? Um, like the guy that they're hanging out with at this point, seems, he's more like criminal, less hobo. Right. Okay. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, man, I'm so broke and shit. So it's supposed to be like, again, yeah, I guess uh, it's supposed to have some sort of fucking like, you know, message yeah, about so, society. So, so, so political fucking well, because spin. now like the the people that did bomb fights it's like in decline productions and they they do like fuck drump shit now oh they do they they're still around they're still around like is it the same a people couple is, it, is it just under like a different name sure. but that kind of makes sense you know same name like which is in decline productions fuck. but yeah. i don't know if it's all the, i don't know if it's all the same people right um one thing I was thinking about this uh, the other day. I always think these so th- these guys are doing fuck drump, you know, whatever type shit now, right? Yeah, and was, and like graffiti. Something I think a lot of people that like do these checks, like where like I listen to this podcast uh, that I really like, but they do these checks a lot where they're like, oh yeah, this movie is pretty good except for the you know five or six uh, like like homophobic jokes or whatever. Um, yeah, well, and it's like, oh man, like, like, uh, and I'm like, man, like, like you probably used, like the thing is when you, people make these checks, it immediately makes me go, oh, you're trying to like, like brush your shoulders off of the guilt of your past self. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. that's maybe these guys, like theoretically, these guys did bum fights, a very controversial thing, you know, like the yeah. public opinion without context, at least would be really bad. Right. Yeah, Probably. exactly. And so like. Uh, that shit drives me crazy. That's all I gotta say. Like, like you, yeah, I don't understand annoying. why people don't go. Like, aren't are so afraid to go. Listen, I used to think this was funny, and now I realize it's problematic. Or you go, you know what? I still think it's funny, and it's problematic. Sorry, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no one will admit that's what's annoying. Now. Is it's, you can say that something is problematic and say it's funny at the same time. Yeah. You can be aware of it. You don't have to pretend like, oh, like ah, damn, ah, you know, I would have thought. This was uh, okay, but fuck it, dude. Also, it's fucking 2020, fucking apocalypse, Nostradamus, like fucking. Yeah, that's why we're. That's why we're here. About anything, dude. Have we haven't spoke face to face in like what two and a half years, and we're doing it. Yeah. YouTube right away. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Less than less than two years, but I don't coming know. Up on. Has been. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah. Well, no, it'll be two years in July. In July, right? Okay. Feels like a long time. It does feel like a fucking long I'm a, time. I'm a I'm a I'm a married man. I'm a I'm a an English major. <laughs> an English I'm a major, dish, married I'm a man. Dishwasher now. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I stopped smoking cigs. Dude, that's good. No, it's not. Cigs rule. Cigs are yeah. Cig- also, like well, I, cigs, smoke a, I smoke a cig from time to time. Let's be real. Like cigs need to make a comeback, a 2020 comeback for the other, you know. So I think for uh, Ozio, the New York mayor, said like he was like, "Now's a good time to quit smoking and vaping because this shit might fuck you over more." And I'm a little worried about that because like I got I got this chest cold. It's not Corona. Yeah. I mean, like if it is, like I I might have killed my parents, but like. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, you might have fucked over your parents, but you'll be good. Yeah, I'll be good. Yeah, it looks uh, like you're sweating right now, but you just got out of the shower. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, I got this chest cold. I'm my yeah. fucking hair is soaked. <laughs> I've been growing up my neck beard for the apocalypse. I figure it makes sense, you know. Oh yeah, I decided to stop shaving for the quarantine here. Yeah. I was yeah. but I shaved the restaurant. I shaved the mustache. I shaved that on purpose, though. Yeah, 
Oh, Wait, fuck. so you're saying you're, you work at a restaurant? I don't know where you work. I know you think you I work was, at a place, so, the buffet, right? The buffet, which is fucking probably not a good place for viruses, you know. And I've seen the shit that they do to cut corners. It's greasy. Yeah. The taco meat, the taco meat is, is, is all the excess cut meat. I'm not, like, it's like a yeah. meme. It's like what you would think. But you'd be like, oh, like, places do this. But no, they don't actually do this. This is fucking yeah. what they do. They get all the all the pig lips, the pig lips and pig ass. That's, no, that I don't know. That doesn't bother me. And they grind it up. But like, is it relatively? Because like buffets are hard to be sanitary, man. Like, there's no doubt. Yeah. Like, are is it sanitary? Relatively, uh, as best as they can, I, or like, you're fucking closed and you're fucking closed for a while, probably though. Hey. Oh yeah, closed for a while. My boss called a staff meeting while I was asleep last night. I work at a restaurant too, like, and and then this morning he's like, "All right, dog, like, nah, we're closing." Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. Like, uh, so like I, like I, mentioned, I, you know, it's, I don't know what the fuck. I'm just gonna chill, I guess. Like, like uh, I'm, just, I'm trying to know, make the Get some EI in me, and yeah. Uh, yeah. chill the fuck out. I got I got the bag, the weed bag. Can we see it? I lack some booze, though. I don't have enough booze. Yeah, I you gotta get some them, booze. booze. You, got, you got anybody with a car that's not sick? Yeah, my yeah yeah my cousin. Okay, yeah, you should get you and him should hit the liquor store today. We need to hit the liquor store. Yeah, DXM is good, but I actually, I actually I I had a bit of that last night. It's cozy. Well, no, I got a bit of a cough, and it was way. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I thought you just do it. It is fun, do it fun just drinking it though. Yeah, I've never gotten fucked up off DXM. I think I, I used to lie about having gotten fucked up off DXM just to be like... Yeah, just, it doesn't fuck you up. It just, like, knocks you out, you know, which is nice. Although, like, can, can it... Was, isn't it robo-tripping, right? Yeah, yeah, I think you have to drink a fucking shitload and then, you know, nine times of ten bomb instead of getting it, fucked up. There's a couple guys in my high school that were big into that. One of which... Uh, I believe is a diagnosed schizophrenic now. I was oh, I wish I fucking I was about to say it's schizophrenic. Yeah, he is now. The other one of them off one the face kid. of the map. Nobody knows where the fuck he is. Nobody knows the other one. Yeah. And then the other two are like fine. The other two guys that were did it are fine. Also, the the guy that that I said is diagnosed off. schizophrenic is a, he's a good guy and he fucking he got his shit together and it's actually pretty sick, honestly. So now he's like he's like a cool schizo. <laughs> yeah like an artistic i don't want to like what like i like in the event that somebody that is friends with who i'm talking about sees this i don't want to throw him under the bus because like i get along with this guy uh no, and he's a good dude cool. he's a good dude yeah. man yeah yeah, exactly. and, like, yeah 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 he fucking battled, he battled that that's like a true like he fucking he went one-on-one -on -one with his demons and fucking like muhammad ali uh he's yeah. muhammad ali his fucking, you know, other psyche is yelling, Ali Bumbaye, and it's just, oh, yeah. and he's just like fucking boom, 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 taking all the shots. He's standing there he's, in his living room, pun punching in the air. <laughs> you look like Sam Hyde so much, man. It's hilarious. Like, right now? Yeah. It's, it's, Remember when we were at McDonald's and that kid I used to babysit fucking uh, uh, Nico? Remember him? And he fucking. Oh, fuck. And he's like, Vinny, you look like Sam High, man. Oh my fucking god, dude, that kid. Yeah, fuck man. I wish I was. I wish I was as bulked up as Sammy. Yeah. I, I don't I was know. What fucking... he looks... I don't know. I uh, yeah. I I haven't been keeping up with him, uh, except on Instagram. I have. I do. I do. Like, my girlfriend doesn't like this at all, but I I do send him the five bucks a month on Gumroad. Oh yeah. Yeah, just because it's dude, like, if, if, and it's I, I know he's problematic and like, but da da da, but like, uh, he's like he gave me so much entertainment for free, and it's kind of like, fuck it, man. Like, here you go. I don't even think it's funny because he's not even as problematic as some shit that is as as like as like popular, what? or if not, people that are more popular than him. Like, but like, like your Alex Jones, your Stephen Crowders, your like Gavin McInnes. Well, those guys like, are all like the thing is like. Sammy just likes to have fun, and those guys are like, ugh, ugh, ugh. They're, like, angry and shit. Not a, I love Alex Jones. I mean, like, Stephen Crowder. And shit. <laughs> Alex Jones is fucking awesome. 
I do but, think there is like a degree of Alex Jones. Like it probably will come out that like I feel like he would like get a little loaded and just like like improv, right? Like I do think there's like a degree yeah. of uh, like you watch him on the Joe Rogan thing, and as he loosens up, he seems a lot more normal than uh, he does oh, on his yeah. show. That's the only Joe Rogan that I've like watched in full. Dude, he was so, so comfy. Watch that shit together. The first one. Hmm. Did we watch the first one together? I don't know. We lived together. Probably, yeah. Shit came out. I think we did because it's so, it's like, it's one of the best conversations recorded ever, man. It's so good. It's because Joe Rogan's not that smart and Eddie Bravo is really not that smart. (laughs) And and they both like low-key idolize Alex Jones. So they just let him go off. But then Joe Rogan will ask like the, you know, like the, eighth grader questions like about what Alex it, Jones like, is talking about somebody said to me doesn't matter who uh that they were like like Joe Rogan is truly the man of the people now like yeah. because because of, uh he can like like get these high profile guests and ask oh. them, you know whatever like mon- like not mundane but like you know his his curiosity uh is much higher than his intelligence or then his 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 uh, like portrayed intelligence at least. I think he plays yeah. dumb a little bit to to do a better interview to get the interviewee talking. You know. Um, uh, yeah, that's why. Also, yeah, he's, he's not faded. He's faded, man. Yeah, he is faded. He. Uh, I, I thought it was fun. I used to think like I used to think I was cool. And I fucking hate Joe Rogan, man. Fuck Joe Rogan. Like yeah. he's gay. But after that Alex Jones interview, I turned around on Joe a bit. I was like, you know what? I fucking respect Joe for this. And I, I ended up liking him more. I was, and, and after, uh, even after like the Bernie shit, I was like, yeah, respect to Joe, you know? That was sick. Are you, were, you like yeah. Bernie? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, of course, just, you know. He, he, it's kind of hard not to. It's hard not to it, fuck with Bernie. especially. Aside, when, you want yeah. an impersonatable president. Yes. He's so impersonatable. It's yes, amazing. you want, like, I, you know, I want, I want fucking Larry David as yeah. president. Yeah, it's like, it's like. <sighs> it's, oh, Larry David literally does an impression of him, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Apparently they're distant cousins. I haven't even seen it. You heard that? What? They're related distantly, distant cousins. Oh, oh shit. Are, that's not some anti-Semitic fucking. No, no, that's legit. That's not a joke. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. I thought that sounds like some BuzzFeed. No, it's legit. It's legit. It's legit, dude. That's yeah. fucking that rules, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. No, I mean, it's it's either yeah, it's it's either it's either the burn or uh, four more years of Trumpy. Either I way, know. I don't know. Okay, the one thing like I thought, Paul, like, okay, like I was, I thought Trump was interesting. Like this is me being straight up. I thought Trump was interesting. Yeah. Kind of like yeah, this, like, like bomb. You know, we were we were both yeah. together the night of the election and uh and that was cool and yes. i was like yeah let's fucking blow shit up let's go crazy uh yeah, and he's 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 done a shit job he's done a garbage job oh yeah in my opinion he's he's become a shill for for extreme right-wing bullshit instead of the agent of chaos that wasn't ideological that i that's wanted what I li- that's what i liked about him yeah and so it was fun in 2015 2016 it was fun like being in high school and being like it's, and we're in Canada, and and being. I wasn't in high school, also to be clear. You weren't in high school, but I was in high school, and I loved just saying that Get, I like Trump and getting people going. I understand, yeah, man. Getting people going, and it was fun as fuck. And then, and then he won, and I was still like Trump, 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 Trump. Like let's go. I fucked with him. Then, I immediately, I immediately was like, absolutely not, because people were so sad, and people I loved were so sad and so scared. Like straight up. Like, and, like, like it didn't, it wasn't funny anymore to me. Yeah, fuck, man. It was so funny. And then he man. announced his cabinet, and it was shit. Oh, yeah, all the real shit sucked. The entertainment was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think most, that's most real, people I with the sense of humor agree with that. Yeah. He's um, still funny, though. He still he, says funny shit. Yeah, dude, that Bloomberg shit was so funny. Man. <laughs> that's, like, one of the funniest <laughs> things ever. Like, it's so funny. It's so funny. And, like, him repeatedly calling Elizabeth Warren, like, Pocahontas is, like, so oh, fucking funny. Nicknames are fucking... The, the nicknames are 
Except he, he never got Bernie good, right? That's what I was going to say, dude. Crazy Bernie Crazy is not Bernie. a good name. It's not great, no. Not that great. You know, you know what he, he... I think he was afraid of calling him, like, uh, like commie Bernie. I think that's what he yeah. wanted to call him. Or, like, like, red Bernie or something like that, right? Yeah. And I think that, like... I think he was like, you know what? That might not work. That might not work. Um, Trump's going to double I mean, down. Yeah. Uh, Biden's so, Joe. Dementia Joe and... Yeah. Yeah. But this coronavirus thing, I thought Trump was going to win again, either of the candidates, for the most part. Um, yeah. Bernie ha- has a better chance, but Bernie has a better chance in the eyes of people our age. And then, yeah. but like, anyone who lived through the fucking Cold War in America is not going to vote for somebody that says, socialism, blah, 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 blah. And this yeah. is not a unique take on either of our parts here at all, but like, I don't no. know. No, but uh, but uh, it will. This coronavirus thing, Trump is doing a horrible job. Yeah. He's completely fucking. It's so transparent that it's kind of it's obvious that he doesn't the numbers down by, enough. by not having people get diagnosed with yeah. something global like this, right? Oh yeah. So the, people people who are fucking ride or die proper Trumpers at this point are probably like, "Fuck you, man! I want to get tested." You know what I mean? Yes. I don't want to get sick. Uh, I did respect. I was fucking with the. He's like, uh, stay calm. It's all good. <laughs> Just left it at that. I was like, yeah. <laughs> let's. Uh, but uh, after let's this morning, you see, like you did you watch Justin talk this morning? A couple hours ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, that's dude. He's down. He's down the block from me, man. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, dude, I'm not. Me, I, live, cry, I live in the market, so I live um, about a. 15 minute walk from 24 Sussex where he lives. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it's pretty funny when you go there, it's like, a com- it's obviously completely surveillance and like gated off and shit. But, you know, I actually, I won't say anything about what I could, you know, I was going <laughs> to say, it's so close, you know, we could fuck yeah. around, but you can't. Uh, he's one of the more available, at least was one of the more available politicians. I know yeah. a couple people that have talked to him, man. Oh yeah, like like cutie sat cutie. down with them. I don't know. Did, did has our friend city councilman Ned Taylor uh, talked to uh, Justin? I don't know if he has. He's never talked to True Bro, but he might. He yeah. Could. Ned, he, uh, he's a degree away. He's a couple. He 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 stayed with Elizabeth Warren or fucking no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he fucked Elizabeth Warren. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's what's the Green Party? Uh, Elizabeth May. Elizabeth May, man. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he stayed All with her. All the boys in the in the group chat were like talking shit about the Green Party to like get Ned pissed off or whatever. Yeah. And she was just literally like a block away from my house at the time. This was in the, during the election. And I just oh, literally yeah. walked over, got a picture with her, said, "Hey, I really like the work you're doing. I'm friends with Councilman Ned Taylor." And a, yeah. a, sent a picture back to the group chat and was like, "Ha ha, I voted Green." Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Fuck all this politics shit. Um, we're the last people that should publicize. I know. Well, dude, shit. I don't give. I don't, I don't give I a shit. Don't give a fuck. I care a little bit, but since <laughs> I'm I, like, the only reason I care, honestly, is because yeah. my my boss. I'm gonna go for my boss, uh, the head chef of where I work, is a uh, uh, pretty political guy. I agree with yeah. most of his things ethically that he has to say, but I think right. he's a little extreme, a little John Oliver for me, uh, and he John talks Oliver. about it all the time. He's very black yeah. and white about it, and uh, fuck it, I might be out of a job, so let's fucking publicize this. I don't care if he sees it. Yeah. Cheers. I love him, though. He's a good man. Yeah. He's got really good taste in music. He's recommending. Oh, yeah. He's got such good taste in music. It's crazy. Oh, shit. He gave me a USB stick last week filled with VSTs. Oh shit! Sick, yeah, yeah. Was, school girl is music for the apocalypse, man. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. That's not, I'm not the same person, by the way, that I was when I we made that music at all. Of course. I don't think I am. Oh, you're not. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not the same person. No. Oh. Um. I would have been scared shitless to do it now, probably. Really. Well, maybe not scared shitless, but I would have been, like, laughing at myself, like, on stage. Like, I would have broken character, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, you break. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I can, I can do that's that. That's some of the most fucking, that's some of the highest I've ever felt is, like, getting a, clearing a room and shit. It's, like, fucking, 
It's a drug, man. That's good. Yeah, it's a drug, yeah. <laughs> Except people, getting those people, were, like, out. people in their early 30s and shit, like, really responded to... But yeah, the... people like it, <laughs> yeah. But no, but school, no, not school girls. I mean, the people, that, the things that, the shows that cleared rooms was, like, the goofy shit we would do. Yeah, that was fucking but School fun. girls, like, good, though. It's, like, yeah. good. We, there, is a, it, there is a secret third want. album. There's a secret third album I'm probably going to put out while we're, I'm in quarantine. Um, I was going to... Do it, Morgan, we did the album with Sister Blanche, right? Because, uh, yeah, like that's, and I'm not, I'm just, I'm not, I'm serious. Like that's what I want from noise, like a noise band. I've listened, I love half Japanese, I love boredoms, but yeah. they're not, they're like, they're like they're not doing what I want to hear. Like I want to hear, like what you guys did is what I want to hear. Like two to three minute tracks. Yeah. Fucking nuts. But you, you but. They like they have some sort of structure to them, it, 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 uh, just a bit, but like the perfect amount. Just me, just knowing what you're doing, yeah, and having a, a rhythm, rhythm a bit, rhythm. You saw Sonic? Oh, I saw Sonic. Yeah, you like it, dude? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. I liked <laughs> it was it too. so speed me up. Yeah, the so song is so good. The song is it's actually so good, man. The it old, is. Like, Literally, Gotti's God. verse is really good, dude. Like, pick it up, it's so funny. Gotti's verse, uh, verse rules. Man, it's so good. Yeah, I love uh, best friend named Tails. <laughs> like, best yeah. friend named Tails. <laughs> yeah, dude, that shit's fucking dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fuck politics. I don't give a shit about politics, but I do love. I love. Uh, uh, I like I like seeing shit get fucked up though. You know I like the entertainment. This I like is more people, fucked, like this is more fucked up than it's ever been though, man. Like I know, dude. This is good shit. shit. It's like, uh, do you do you find it frustrating that people are trying to like almost politicize this, like individuals? You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Fuck that. It's whack, man. Just like, uh, just let the chaos ensue. You know, I it, it, it's this is proper accelerationism. It is proper acceleration as a man. I 100% agree. Like, the market was going to fucking crash. Like, yeah. like China was going to take over. But now it's going to happen in, like, two months instead of, like, two years. Three years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm no expert. But I got experts in my ear. I got I got dogs. You know what I mean? I got dogs. What? Yeah, I got dogs. I don't know shit, but I got dogs. Got dogs? So, hey, duh, 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 right in my ear. Who's talking They're- to you? You sure you didn't drink a little too much DXM? <laughs> I got dogs, man. No, man. I got um, I got some boys in finance, like legitimately, that uh, seem to know what's up in terms oh. of like the market and all that and stuff. And I just, whatever they say goes. They've been right so far. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. But yeah, you saw Sonic, okay? Eh? Good thing I have no money. <laughs> Did you stay after the credits? Yeah. That made me well because I had nothing to do. I I, uh, I I was off work and my cousin was driving to work, so I got him to drop me off at a theater. <laughs> two yeah. And I got I was like, so pick me up when you're done work. So I had seven hours to kill. Oh, what did you so, see? Did you see Bird, Birds of Prey and Sonic? Birds or? Of Prey after. Yeah. You did see Birds of Prey. Yeah. Did you letterbox it? Oh yeah. Let me see what you said. No, I don't know what I gave. I can't remember what I gave it. I think probably two and a half or something. Okay. And you gave Sonic three and a half, right? Sonic, I think three or three and a half, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a true, like it's like a gentleman's seven out of ten. I gave it an eight. Because I thought they did the best job making it like a f- enjoyable, family-friendly movie. It wasn't too long. Uh, and like they respected the character without leaning too far into the lore or lack there of lore, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like you notice like like um in the in the last third of the movie, anytime he gets like hurt, he loses a bunch of his rings and then picks them back up. Like that's yeah. that's like a trope of all Sonic games. I thought that was kind of cool. Right. Yeah. The only yeah. Sonic game at, I've at ever the played. end, man. At the very end, the Green Hill Zone piano music. <sighs> Oh, okay. Oh. I didn't know that. Ugh, gorgeous. I've mm. only I've played Battle Adventure Two. That's the best game. That's the best game. Yeah. So, dude, that first level, man, City Escape. City I, Escape uh, is. Fun. I got it on my PS4 when I was like pretty high a few weeks yeah. ago. 
And I was like, yeah, dude, dude that's fucking. And I just I played the first level, then I played a couple other ones, and I was like, ah, this first level is better than all this other shit. It's on. Uh, wait, how'd you get it on PS4? There's this thing called PlayStation Now, which is like Netflix for video games, and they have like older games on it too. Oh shit. Yeah, it's like a subscription. It's a subscription service. I but I, I whenever I do stupid shit like this because I have a bad habit of subscribing to shit during free trial periods and then forgetting and then fucking losing my money. Right. You know, you're the, you're the people they want. Yeah, I am the people they want. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But I just like set a reminder on my phone. I paid for the month. It was thirteen bucks. I fucking played a few games. Um. Yeah. No. What'd you give Birds of Prey? Oh, you gave it two and a half. And you had to say, May is a is better Psycho Girl material plus Jeremy Sisto heart. <laughs> May is a really good movie. Um, oh, I know. Uh, May. I haven't seen it though. I should watch that. Really fucking good. Really let's, good. It, let's see. What's the best thing you've watched in the last uh, since in 2020? What's the best flick you've seen? Bomb fights. Don't say bomb fights. Damn, you're it is. you're at 52. That's pretty good. Is it 52 for the year, 2020? Yeah, you've been watching flicks, oh. eh? Dude, yeah, I've been ripping lots of... I don't really have any friends, so I'm, yeah. I'm ripping lots of flicks. Um, I uh, I do have friends, but I'm also a, a lunatic. I've, I've watched 106. Oh, shit. Yeah. I got, I got really, really obsessed with uh, romantic comedies a couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, they're like because the, they're like Xanax movies, and also so if you watch uh, romantic comedies anywhere from like um, like mid two thousands, like two thousand four to now, every year you can watch like like progressivism begin to exist. So how yeah. far, how far they'll go with the gay best friend? How far right. they'll go with how bad the guy is that eventually turns and becomes the love interest? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like the ugly truth is like so problematic by 2020 standards and it was only 2009 and then oh the 2009 could, is could, 2009 is the hangover you know paging dr faggot yeah it's like we oh yeah i, know, yeah, I talked to i talked to a coworker about that and i was like man i want to rewatch the hangover because i might think it was funnier honestly now because of this this yeah. shit because and also Whoa. the context of like <laughs> like i watched the hangover when i was like 11 yeah, I, and I, I was like, this is the best thing ever. I loved it because I thought it was like so edgy. But I was in Disneyland when it came out. Uh, the only ever time I went to like family trip, one of the few ones we ever did, and uh, I made my mom take me and my brother to go see The Hangover. Hell yeah! And she was like, I don't know, it's pretty edgy. I'm like, Mom, you took us to see Talladega Nights last year. Yeah, there we go. That's how you get mom to fucking bring. And she it was like, movie. yeah, and my mom. My mom's like a. Talladega like Nights is hard, way more hardcore than The Hangover. Right? I think so too. Yeah, and my mom is a big chuckle fuck. You know, like like she loves, she laughs at easy shit, and I've been okay. becoming that as I get older, and I love it. Like I saw, I saw female Ghostbusters with my mom, and I probably would have hated it if I didn't see it with her because she was laughing, oh, yeah, at it, and it was in, and it was infectious. You know? Yeah. And I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty fucking funny, man. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. See it. I don't know. I I was pretty anti that shit. I was like, damn, dude. Come it's on. just too. It's too obvious or whatever. You understand? It's too but, obvious. Um, I don't know. It looks better than this new Ghostbusters movie. This new Ghostbusters movie is, like, looks fucking stupid. That looks stupid as shit too, dude. Paul yeah. Paul Rudd. Yeah, it's uh Jason uh, Reitman, who's a fucking hack in my opinion. Yeah, Although, yeah. I'm he did this. He did a Sandy movie. He did one Sandler movie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I see. Men, women, and children. It's like a pseudo dramatic Sandler. Sandler's really good in it, but the movie's not very good. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it, it, it's funny like making these uh like like girl power remakes of shit because like that movie May is it came out in like two thousand one or some shit, and it's like the most girl power like. Like I, there was shit that's that's proving their point way better and more tastefully that was coming out in the '90s and early 2000s that and, and like they're missing like the point now like with girl Ghostbusters like yeah. just make a good movie with well, them also, just make a fucking good movie yeah also there is a thing that I think of that's kind of like it's like I think it's it's like 
uh, like, theoretically, it's kind of offensive uh, to, like, you know, feminists or whatever you want to call them in the context of female Ghostbusters to be like, like like, like these Hollywood fuckers being like, oh, this is going to be popular and trendy. Like, just imagine how sexist the fucking boardroom meeting would have been saying, we're going to make this movie, right? So it's like, listen, their heart is not in the fucking right place. There's no way. What's her name again? The fucking Melissa McCarthy. Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig. Is your idol. Kristen Wiig is your idol. Kristen Wiig, you love Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph. Yeah. They're, the, they're the end all be all women. Look My, up Maya to Rudolph, them. Maya Rudolph is not in the new Ghostbusters, but. Yeah, Kristen, but. Is Kristen Wiig? I don't even remember. Yeah. They're fucking all in it, dude. I love. Maya Rudolph's awesome, man. She's sweet. I like her. Gosh. You know who she's married to? You know who her husband is? This is sexist, technically, for me to go, uh, you know who her husband is? Is that sexist? I don't know. I'm just defending myself in case the wrong people see this. Um, Her husband. Her husband is Paul Thomas Anderson. No, what? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, I like her now. See, the man, the man's, you got the right man? You got the right (laughs) man? uh, I like her now. Dude, yeah, like that's like that's so fucking based. Like, yeah, and he's like, uh, he's a good guy. He seems like a good guy. He seems like a good guy. He's not. He's not. He seems like he's him. got. If when it comes to socio political issues, it seems like he's probably got a bit of nuance. Yeah, at the very least, I I wouldn't call him. You know, he's not fucking right wing, and he's not an edge lord, but he's certainly like got some nuance. Also, he was a big fan of Ted too. Apparently. Big fan of Ted Two. Interesting. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Ted Two. It was Ted Two. I remember there being a moment. It must have been Ted Two, and I was like cackling, and it was the Liam Neeson cameo. Was that Ted Two? Yeah, 2? so good. Yeah. I was really fucking laughing hard at that. He was trying to buy Trix cereal. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, they say Trix is for kids. I'm not a child. Yeah. If I were the, to take this home, pen- all of me. it's so good. Deadpan, like, absurdity shit will always get me. Also, Mark the, Mark Wahlberg goes to a sperm bank in that movie, and then Ted's like, let's go explore the sperm bank, and they go into where all the samples are, and they accidentally knock down all the sperm samples, and Mark Wahlberg gets covered in cum. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't remember that, dude. I gotta, yeah. I gotta rewatch Ted, too, dude. Yeah, Gordon. dude, I've, I've seen it a couple times, and I'm not a big rewatcher, but it fucking... Wow. Yeah, I'm not... Definitely. Dude, I've just been rewatching bum fights. That's all I've been. Bum fights. Like, I'll, I'll give it a rip. Dude, I've just been watching it like every day. <laughs> <laughs> you can do better. You can do something better. Make some music, man. Oh no, I'm making music too, man. Bum fights is an hour long. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I got you, dude. I don't have a fucking job now, man. Yeah, I probably don't either. I'm making beats, man. I got beats going on here. I have five assignments to get done, but I don't want to. So, yeah, fuck that, dude. Don't do it. Yeah. Um, I gotta pee. You want? You want to talk about something for a minute? No, you want to just call it? No, dude. I can keep going, dude. You keep going. Okay, I can talk about something. Let's do round. Let's do part two. I'll let's just hang up. I'll pee and then we'll do round two. I gotta pour up another drink. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Okay, cool. Uh, I haven't even touched the herb yet, dude. All right. We're going in. Yeah, all right. That's the end of part one. 42 minutes, part one. We'll do part two. 38 minutes. Fuck yeah. Well, the the recording is 38 minutes. Yeah, all right. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, call you in like two seconds here. Yeah, word.